What is on a beautiful brand new day, brand new night, depending on wherever you're watching me from. My name is Jimmy Ruff. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. Fun time, bro. So, yesterday was uh, the day Rick Cross came out with a video of expressing how excited he is to feature some Africans on his upcoming project. And uh, he mentioned the likes of uh, Yemi Alade, Diamond Platinums, and Stoneboy. Yeah, so on a live video yesterday, Stoneboy had to connect with uh, Rick Ross, and they had a very long conversation. Yeah, they had a very long conversation, and that's what I'm going to take you through, yeah? That's what I'm going to take you through. Like, they had industrial conversation and, you know, their upcoming projects, you know, like they, they, like they had a very interesting conversation. They had a very interesting conversation and I want us to go watch exactly what happened. Let's go check out exactly what happened and uh, come back and you know, but don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, yeah, and subscribe. I'll be back. <clears throat> Prince Jesse, I see you. Big up, doing it big. Ah, welcome the boss. Welcome the biggest boss. My brother, my brother, my Daniel. brother, my brother. First and foremost, I need you to put up. Uh, that's it. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> you already know we gonna hold yes. it up. We gonna hold it up. We gonna hold it up. You already know. Popping bottles. Do me a favor and pull me my glass right now. I gotta have a. I gotta have a toast with my brother, a young hustler. So exactly. I got a few, few questions. I just, I want to ask you a few questions. Quick interview with Rose. You with that? I'm ready. I'm ready, 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 Do ready. Do me a favor and bust. Um, let's start with the blue. I'm going to start with the blue. So, Stoneboy, everybody that's tuned in, Ricky Rose, I want to just say, you know, I love Ghana. Definitely. I Ghana love loves you too. You already know, I love Ghana. Love the vibes, love the energy. Every time I've ever but went you already know people show rose love like like you know nowhere else so i wanted to start this with you i gotta shout out brett shout out brett Barry for making brett. this happen plugging me with brett, you the big boss himself you know all what right. i'm saying all right so look it's ricky rose stone boy ghana they tuned in this is what america want to know on our side before we come to your side what american artists you would say influenced you and your career the most uh any american artist that would have influenced my career the most would be definitely a hip-hop artist you know because of the vibes you know because of the consciousness you know of the vibes one of my favorites is talib Kweli as well you know from time yeah definitely everybody knows about jay-z yes definitely the boss himself you as well to be honest i'm not even gonna lie like Ever since you, you came into the game, you've brought a different spirit, you know, into, into the industry. And I'm really feeding off of that inspirational vibe that you always put in. Because you know and you see it yourself, you know, like your, your videos, the stuff that you tell people or say, always go a long way to get us to become what we become. You get me? So we keep on fighting, we keep on pushing, and that's it for me. So hip-hop itself is not only necessarily one artist out of america you know hip-hop itself feel me so no yeah so i love that and just for all the american artists that's watching i just want to throw upon you my brother um once again it's all about ghana but this one question i want to ask you if you could collaborate with one artist on this side and not rose if you could collaborate with one artist because you never know that might be a phone call rose could make we of never course. know <laughs> who would that one, one artist be he's oh geez, who's, that, who's that gonna be who's that gonna be rihanna, i think that's gonna be rihanna for me i've always Woo! said that taylor swift i've always said that. i've always wanted a taylor or rihanna yeah <laughs> Take it to the females, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on the male side, it's got to be you, and then on the on the female side, it's got to be Rihanna or Taylor Swift. For oh, now, man. Rihanna, I'm I'm most definitely with you. I'm absorbing that Rihanna energy, and you know, as far as the 
collaboration with you and boss we could get that done this week whoa the I'm whole world just had that we get and the only I'm reason just... i'm not gonna say tonight is because i got another dinner i've been celebrating my birthday <laughs> all week my brother. but i'm just letting you know we're gonna do that okay so of course of so course look, i just wanna i wanna ask this this for everybody who watching my brother watching you i'm a huge fan of you but this is a question i want to ask in ghana mm -hmm. in the last, last 10 years of course with the african mute the explosion i'm gonna describe it as a as an explosion it's always been a, a, amazing but in the last 10 years how would you describe ghana and the african music set changing the most over the last decade Thank you. Over the last decade, I can I can boldly say that um, Ghana music has always contributed to the influence of, of African music, you know, as we all see it, you know, globally. And Ghana music over the last decade has actually influenced the sound in terms of um, the Afrobeat sound. You know, nonetheless, you know, Ghana music actually has a pivotal influence when it comes to um, the Afrobeats of today which would be, you know, the crossbreed. And we call that high life music. High life, like the high life, life music. It's for, you know, high life, like, I mean, high life, like lifestyle. Yes, 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 yes. So, so that's actually the, um, the, 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 the heart. It's, 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 it's like, to me, I've always said this. I said this on Ebro's show. I said this on, um, on, on Sway's show, Breakfast. I told them and they found out that high life music has always been a contributor to the core of the sound that we have today and that's what has been even before the um the last 10 years you know what i'm saying so i think that's what i can say and artists like myself bridging the gaps actually bringing in all music of black origin which would be tapping into the jamaican side of as well or um to spread it wide the caribbean side and we have my brother <laughs> uh black sheriff who's also came through with some mad ass energy, you know, like the high life feeling, but still gives us some hip hop kind of energy that that's like something that took the world by storm, of explosion. course. Explosion. 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 Yes, it did. Explosion. So for the past 10 years, we have actually been pushing, I mean, the producers here from Ghana so have been doing magic, Ooh. like producing Ooh. some amazing masterpieces like you know, we got producers like Street Beats. We have producers like Mixmaster Gazi. Like, I love you know that. Like, I love that. And, 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 not, yeah. not, and, and not cutting you off. And while you speaking to producers, let, let's show some love and highlight who would you name are the three hottest producers right now in West Africa? Okay. Right now, if you could name three. I, know. Woo. I definitely mentioned street beats that's guy that's street guy's beats. Mad. Squad, squad. street, beat, street because, beats yeah he's behind some of the craziest records on you know on the continent on the continent if you mean if you mean ghana i mean i can base it on ghana <coughs> for now well, base it have, on um, <coughs> base it on ghana for me um definitely dj breezy is one of my boys he's he's done some magic as well Production. as well. Gazi, what Master Gazi do? doing crazy. So we're gonna put together all these boys. We're gonna make sure whenever we get the opportunity to sit in a in, in, in a place, we bring all these brothers, you know, to Florida and make sure we, we you know we stem it out properly. See? You already, I'm excited. I can't wait. I got another question for you. Just when I think of the club, last time I was out that way, the fashion, the way the pants was the gear the night nightlife <laughs> how involved <laughs> when we talk about the nightlife okay if we go out to the hottest club what's the hottest club right now in ghana right now the hot hottest club has got to be ace hey <laughs> <Ace, laughs> what it do ricky rose can't wait to come out there okay ace shout out uh, yeah. Pablo and ace. But definitely can't... you know we've had we've had, had um nightlife being held down by some of the creme de la creme which will be twist as well has been holding it down you know from time and and onyx as well been holding it down from time so i think these are my favorite spots and we have some beach fronts as well that you can go to 
which will be sometimes you have Alora, you have Polo Beach Club, you know, Ghana parties from dirty December. It's like bananas here in Ghana. And we can't wait for you to experience that this December because it's been a long time you came here. So, Man. you know, Man. you need to, to experience it for yourself. Man, mm -hmm. I can't wait to come. When we come, we're going to hit the streets. We're going to celebrate. <laughs> and I need hey, look, look, this is what I, I want to know this too. How involved is Bel Air in the nightlife as well? Like, do we go everywhere in Ghana and they holding those Bel Air bottles up like we do in Miami? Because when you out here on South Beach, on South Beach in Miami, yeah, we, Club Live, we, do, we holding them bottles up. I mean, how do, uh, are the Luke Bel Air bottles I, I, big I, out there? I never run out. Every human being knows that I love Ooh. Bel Air. I do, that's what I love. We do. You know what I mean? When I go to the, the clubs out here, it's, 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 pe people love it. We love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Stone Boy, we're going to keep Definitely. building, get Definitely. that record together that you need me to do. Because mm -hmm. we're going to come right back and we're going to world premiere it and drop it on them right here so they know we about our business and we real with it. Definitely. But look, ah, but look, but look, slap. What's going on? Slap. You done been, you done been, you done been to Ghana with me. Let, let's shout out a few places over in Africa. Come on, let's go. Um, you know, Ghana is the shit. Um, one time for Cote d'Ivoire, um, Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. Jenny, Mad. You know, um, um, shout out to South Africa, of course, of Jay course. Berg, Nairobi. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you know what I'm saying? Morocco, Casablanca. Everywhere, man. If we coming, just Nigeria, know we coming, man. Nigeria, remember Nigeria, we remember Kenya. Kenya. You know what I'm saying? We don't hey. we don't the whole country. Man. Much love, Stone Boy. I love you. Let's Nigeria. get, let's keep building. You I gonna be Nigeria. bigger than ever, baby. You just starting, brother. You just starting. Bless. You just starting. I love you. Love One time, toast. Don't know. Respect. Beep. Beep.